Hey everyone, it's Brandon here from Daily iFix and I have a fantastic video for you guys today on the top 5 best new features in iOS 8.4. Now these features are in the beta 1 update like I said, but they will be the only features, basically the only big new features in the iOS 8.4 update when it comes out to the public. So most of the features in iOS 8.4 are bug fixes and stability fixes, but there are some new updates and some new features mostly to do with the music application. So let's go ahead and get started off with number 5 which is the whole new look and the whole new UI in the music application. So this is the new music application. As you can see, it looks different straight from the jump and right away you're presented with some artwork of your music. So it just has a, a much more modern look to it. Everything looks new and improved. We have the search bar up here in the top right, which means we'll be able to search from anywhere. But let's go ahead and talk about just the basic overview of the whole new look of the iOS 8.4 music application. So as you can see here, we have this recently added up here, which isn't actually a playlist. This is autom automatically added to the music application and you can actually uh, hit more right here and it will show you all of your recent added tracks. And right here where it says songs, you can actually click on that and change it to show albums, artists, genres, you know, composers, anything like that. And it will actually just show up uh, right there within this streamline so it won't open up in a new tab or a new page or anything like that it will actually just open up right there and show you all your songs and you can actually scroll down and you can still sort by the letter and things like that as well we can go to the next section which is down here it shows the next section is playlists so we can go to playlists just by simply swiping over and I only have one playlist on here because this isn't my, uh, my this isn't my daily device I don't use my 5s I have my 6 um, which is jailbroken which is the reason I don't have this updated but by the way a quick note about the jailbreak if you guys want to be notified of when the new jailbreak for iOS 8.4 comes out make sure to subscribe I will be making a video right away on that so anyways back to our normal programmed show here we have uh, the playlist here and then if you scroll over we have the iTunes radio which I will talk about next that's the next feature but anyways it's just a whole new look and when you actually go on to a song uh, there's you know it's a different layout at the bottom we have a new button right here instead of the back button it's this little down button everything's just a lot more clean and a lot more elegant and modern than it was in the previous version. So that's the number five feature. It's just the whole new look and a much better UI. So the next feature is the streamlined iTunes radio navigation. So basically what that means is iTunes radio pretty much before this update looked like garbage. It didn't look good in my opinion. iTunes radio was just very unattractive when you went to it in your music application. And it was just nothing that I would even consider. Like when I have Spotify and Pandora and you know, songs, uh, now title, all kind of these streaming services. And then iTunes radio just looked very old school and just didn't appeal to me at all. So I like what they did with iTunes radio here. As you see, when we scroll down here, you can see it's kind of, you know, a really nice modern look to it and has all this artwork here that you can see and you're basically just able to navigate a lot easier and it just catches your eye and everything is just a lot nicer in the iTunes radio section of your music app. And of course at the top we have the recently played which will just allow you to go back to playing the stations that you were playing beforehand if you just want to keep revisiting that station and playing music from that specific station you can easily do so just by the top right here at recently played on the iTunes radio. So that was the number four feature of streamlined iTunes radio navigation and just an overall better look in the iTunes radio section. So the number three feature is the handy search bar, which is up here on the top right. And as you notice, when I go to all the sections, it's always consistent up there at the top right. So this basically allows you to search everything within the music app. So you could search not only your music, but also the radio. So if I were to search something, it also has live search, obviously, and you will be able to see right there that you will be able to search that and also the radio. So if I kept typing in stuff like that, so Jeremiah, we can click on that. And it would take us to the stations in iTunes radio that, you know, had Jeremiah in that. So it's very useful because uh, how many times I have a lot of songs. This isn't my, my everyday device, but on my, on my iPhone 6 where I use every day, I have, I think, 2,000 songs, 1,500 to 2,000 songs. And I can't tell you how many times I've been in a playlist and I wanted to search for something, but I couldn't because I was in that playlist. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. So now when you're in a playlist, no matter what you're playing, you always have that search bar up there in the top right. Very convenient, very good feature. So the number two feature is the mini player. So this is the mini player down here. And as you can see, it'll show what's playing at all times. No matter where I go, iTunes radio playlist, music, 
It's always consistent just like the search bar. It stays down at the bottom. It's like a sticky footer on a website. It just stays at the bottom and you're always able to click on it and it will bring up the now playing uh, section here, the now playing page, and show you exactly what's playing. So this is very, very useful because not only does it always show you what you're playing, but also whenever you click on a song now to play it, it won't take you all the way to the now playing section. It will just start playing that song. You'll still be able to browse through your songs and look at what you want to play next. You can also pause and play the song from this bar down here as you just saw me do. And this is very useful if you just wanted to quickly play and pause a song, but it's also very hard to press. So it's, it may be easier just to actually click on the bar and click play or pause from there just because it's easier to press the button than it would be to press it right here. It's just kind of too small. So, but that is very a very useful feature, especially for those that have small fingers. Now my number one favorite feature in iOS 8.4 is called Up Next. Now Up Next is exactly what it is on iTunes. It's basically where you choose which songs play next and you can quickly and easily move the songs to a specific order. So how it actually works in the music application, you actually go to these three lines here, the dots with three lines right next to the repeat button and the now playing section. You actually click on that and it will show you the full list of Up Next along with now playing and the history of songs that you're playing. So it's basically just like what it was in iTunes. So this is very, very, very handy, especially if you're like in a car and you, you know, playing for mu music for somebody else, or if you have a party going on and you're in charge of the music, this is a quick and easy way to know exactly the playlist that you custom create will be playing. So you won't have to worry about, you know, some, you know, song that you don't want a lot of people hearing to play on shuffle. So basically on the right hand side, you will see there are these three lines that indicate that you can move them. So you can quickly and easily move the songs to one another. And as you see right here, there's an add and a clear button. So from here, you can quickly add any song in your library. Let me go back here. You can add it by any of these songs, genres, composers, compilations, anything like that. And you can also clear it just from here. If you clear up next, as you see, it will clear everything. So you can also see the history up here. And if you click on these, it will delete it from your history. Or you can add it to up next to play again, or you can just play it immediately next. So this is, again, very useful for numerous occasions. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of my top five features in iOS 8.4. I know they were all in the music app because that's basically all of the major features that were included in iOS 8.4. But we will see if there are any new features. I doubt it, but we will see in the future beta and also the public version of iOS 8.4. Now, it's not clear if they are going to open the beta to the public like they did on iOS 8.3 but only time will tell. If you'd like to be notified when the public version of iOS 8.4 goes live and whether or not you can jailbreak, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting new app-related content at least twice per week. So thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you